Dylan with the HD perspective here. Got the Matco Tools flyer. I'm going to go through it, see if they have any good deals. Also, I'll post any alternative tools that I might find useful in the description below for your information. Anyways, let's get started. Right on the cover here, we've got a 101 piece Silver Eagle General Service Set. So I guess Silver Eagle is kind of like the blue point for Matco tools. Uh, I kind of wish it was the price was the other way around, $143 instead of saving $143 and the price being $361. That'd be a real deal. You can probably find a service set similar quality for quite a bit cheaper. I'll dig around, see what I can find, and I'll post one up in the description below. Here we've got some tie rod adjusting sleeves. I think I would want to get just about anything else to do this job. It seems like kind of a one trick pony. You wouldn't really be able to use this tool for anything else. Maybe get a pair of Swedish pliers or something of that sort. Below that they have an axle popper kit. Looks like a fancy pickle fork, something like that. It actually looks like not too bad. I'd like to see them in real life see what the size is on them uh, 72.50 maybe not too bad on the left hand side of the page you have a bunch of hats for $19 $29 for a beanie or I guess you could just drop 500 bucks worth of tools and then you could get one for free and then you can go home and tell your wife that uh, you bought a hat for 500 bucks but you got these fancy tools for free so that way you don't have any long-term buyer's remorse, you get it over really quick. Here we have a bunch of toolboxes. You know they're going to be expensive when they can't even be bothered to put a price down. But apparently they're the best built in the industry. And it's available in two and three bays. Here we have a Silver Eagle half horsepower motor air belt sander. And then there's some non-marring and non-sparking brass uh, punch sets here for $94. You probably need like one brass punch. I don't know if you need a whole set. I use mine every once in a while, not too often. And I've gotten away with just having the one for many years. At the bottom of the page is their 17-piece punch and chisel set, $287. I suggest getting a cheaper set, just because... Punches and chisels, they seem to get banged up and they don't last forever anyways. And then lastly, there's some socket trays. I prefer storing my sockets vertically instead of horizontally. Take up less room in the drawer. I guess if you only have shallow drawers, maybe it'd be a good option. Seven piece body fender tool set, $287. Then there's a front end service set for $198. And on the bottom left, there's a refillable and rechargeable one quart capacity sure shot sprayer. I actually think that would be a good thing to have, especially if you get brake clean in bulk. Maybe it looks a little more heavy duty than those plastic pump up ones that you always see kicking around shops. And then at the end there, there's a body mold trimming tool for $47.50. You can use it to cut plastic or rubber hoses, that kind of stuff. 47 bucks, not too terrible. Here this page we've got a lot of pullers. A seven ton full capacity multi-purpose bearing puller set, $196. That's probably not a bad price. And then there's pulley remover installer set, $82. Good if uh, the alternators that you install, you need to switch the pulley on or something like that from the old one. And then finally, something for heavy duty mechanics, uh, $478 for a U-joint puller. I've actually used this style quite a bit, it works good. Especially for full round style U-joints. I kind of wish they would make a smaller version of it for smaller industrial U-joints on deck engines and stuff like that. $204.95 for a harmonic balancer puller kit. Master bolt grip set, 
This kit looks like it's actually pretty decent. They cover a lot of sizes, although you could just get, you know, the center piece and then the uh, piece of ready rod and then find all those bolts probably in your bolt bin. Maybe some of them are kind of special, so might be good to have to, if you work on a lot of, I guess, GM vehicles. It looks like they're trying to cater to. Coil on plug spark tester, 2450. Looks pretty cheap, cheap enough, you can just throw it in your toolbox. Good for troubleshooting, you know, no start issues on gasoline engines. And then at the bottom, there's a spark tester for testing spark plugs, spark plug wires and coils without puncturing the wire, 1395. Cheap enough. If you work on a lot of that stuff, why not grab one? On the right hand side of the page, they have die grinders, straight and a 90, one horsepower. I think Snapbound also carries a one horsepower. I actually like Ingersoll Rand, they're a lot cheaper. Maybe they don't have quite the same power rating, but they last really well. And probably about a third to half price. I'll put a link in the description below for those. Fuel injection pressure tester, $241. Looks like just a pressure gauge with some hose and a few brass fittings. I don't know, you could probably make one up yourself. Then you have a battery tester, does 12, 24, and 36 volts. $334. Yeah, I don't think so. I'll leave a link in the description for a much cheaper one that's nice and easy to use. And then there's a digital circuit tester for 80 bucks. You can spend a few dollars more, you know, right around 120, 30 dollar mark and get a Power Probe 3, much more useful. You can also test for grounds with it and supply power instead of just giving you a voltage readout. And then there's a five piece back probe pin set. That's probably a must have if you're doing any kind of electrical work with wiring harnesses. 21.50, it's not a bad price. Vacuum and fuel pump tester for $73.50. Matco Code Connect Scan Tool, $506. I guess it's nice that it does ABS and SRS systems. Uh, you can probably find a much cheaper one elsewhere. You'd have to do some research into that. Maybe Autel would be a place to look. Creator 7 Code Reader. Looks like it'll reset while in service. Reminder lights. Uh, it has some special tests, but for $209, maybe a little bit on the expensive side, maybe it's not too bad. And then for $278, you have a master relay kit with terminal leads. It seems like all the major tool companies seem to be coming out with kits similar to this, so I would keep my eyes out for a better deal if that's the kind of thing you're looking for. You know, I've been in this industry for 10 years now and I've never needed one of these kits, but I could see where they would be handy. I've just come up with my own ways of troubleshooting relays and other electrical circuits. Buy one, get one, half inch impact wrench, and you get a 3 8 air ratchet for $306. Looks like actually a pretty good deal. I don't have much experience with Matco Air Tools, so I can't really speak to their power or their reliability, but it does look like it's a fairly good deal. And then at the bottom of the page, they have some hammer kits, indestructible hammers. It looks like they've got some sort of fancy handle technology that's apparently better than wood or fiberglass, especially if you tend to miss whatever you're trying to hit. Prices, they're okay. You could probably find a better deal if you're looking for that kind of a hammer. I don't know why you would need that many hammers of kind of a similar size. Matco does make some really good dead blow hammers. Uh, they're about the same size as a snap on dead blow hammer, but the head is a lot heavier, so it's nicer. You can hit a lot harder with a similar size hammer for tighter spaces. There's not much on this page. If you need some steak knives or want a hat, there you go. Or you could even start being a Matco tool dealer yourself. Five piece extra long double box flex head ratcheting wrench set. I do like that they have these long handles. I'm not so sure on how well the end works on them. 
They say they're good for Torx 12 point and 6 point. Flex head seems nice. $311, save 57 bucks. I'll post a link down below for some Tecton ratcheting wrenches. They're right around half the price. And for something that you don't use all the time, it's probably not worth buying the Matco ones for $300 plus. At the bottom of the page, they've got a scan tool for $1,040. Looks like it's got a fair amount of features, although I wish they put more information there. The one catch, though, is it looks like there's a monthly subscription, and they don't say how much that subscription is. I've seen quite a few good reviews for Autel scan tools. I haven't personally used them, so I can't speak from my own experience to say whether they're good or not. I know they do come with monthly updates and they are free for a certain time period. Just something to look into if you're in the market for a scan tool. I'm heavy duty mechanic. A lot of this stuff doesn't apply to me, so I'm not really that well versed in how well these scan tools work. We have a half horsepower six inch bench grinder, $217. Below that, there's some tram gauges, $350 and $290. Good if you want to set the tow on your vehicle for your alignment. This actually isn't too bad of a deal. 120 bucks for a dial indicator set. Probably can't get much better than that for a quality dial indicator. And lastly, there's an 8 gallon lift oil drain. Good for doing oil changes and other service work on a hoist. These next two pages have a bunch of clothes and some sunglasses from Oakley. In my mind, I think Matco should pay me to wear their clothes to advertise for them. Not the other way around, but if you want to take a look, here they are. On the last page, we have some insulated screwdrivers, seven pieces for 80 bucks. And then they have the drive size adapters, quarter to three quarter inch, $103. All the major tool brands, they carry this set and it's pretty handy to have. Lastly, there's a 10 piece quarter drive impact socket set. For $37.50. Not too bad of a price. Oh, and what's this? If you become a Matco dealer, you can be friends with some guy named Omar. Sweet. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, found it useful. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.